Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> hey, what's going on, everyone? Today, it's the man child. Okay, so up next for our Master Universe figure reviews, I got the new Master Universe, new Eternity of Beast Man. Um, yeah, this guy looks awesome. You know, it's uh, I like the idea of this new Eternity line. It, I, I call, I mean, aside the Master Universe, I call it kind of a Motu re revelation. I don't know if it's technically part of that. Because it's, you know, it, it, it's just kind of its own thing. And New Eternity is concept figures. The figures going back to the original art when the Motu line was early, you know, and um, what they would have looked like or out of comic books and stuff like that. But I think he looks really cool. Uh, this is very much the Beastman I think we want. We've seen the Revelation cartoon. And it looks like you can more or less convert him to that. Aside maybe that loincloth piece, I'm not sure about that. We'll figure when we get out of package. But uh, yeah, it's just so cool to have. This type of beast man in hand. He actually looks bigger than the Revelation the Revelation first release. And I'll bring him to compare him. But I'm so glad they went this route and gave us all the extra stuff. And here's the back of our box art. Looking pretty cool. Yeah, we got beast man. Looks like his tribe swinging in the, back, the jungles back there. Now, again, with the new attorney, I like the concept. Because it's taking some of these vintage original characters like beast man. And putting them back in more of a barbaric time period. Um, like the... Uh, you know, how the whole Lords of Power concept came around and stuff like that. Um, before we seen, you know, Beastman later on on a sky sled flying around, which is cool. But, yeah, I like going back to this time period with Motu. Um, now, check this out. It also has, like, a female beast woman or something in the background. It's pretty neat. Here's a bio bringing in a closer look. You want to pause and read that? And then here's our four figures coming out in this New Eternity Wave. I guess it's a revelation, New Eternity Wave 5, I guess they're calling it. And they give us a CGI He-Man and Skeletor, fully articulated, the match of 7-inch scale with these figures. Um, I'm kind of mixed on them. The show is awesome. I, I really enjoyed the characters, but I, I don't know yet. I'm mixed. Uh, but here's Zodak and Catra. Now, they're probably coming around, I hear rumors. And these are being found at Targets now, so go check your Target. They're showing up all over the place. There's at least the Beast Man, but I'm assuming Zodak and Catra aren't far behind. So I'm super, I can't wait to get these guys, but... Yeah, everything looks awesome. It's just so cool to have this. Okay, and before we get the new Eternity Beastman in a package, I just want to make a kind of a correction update from my last uploader video. Um, so this was the Origins Wondar. Pretty, I'd say a really highly wanted figure. He's supposed to be in Mattel Creations. I got him early through somebody on Instagram. Um, they're floating around in California. I, I told the whole story. You can go check out my video if you're interested. But... It's cool showing up the back of the art, right? And I call this figure back here Teela. And apparently it's Sorella, you know, and then I thought about it and go, wait a minute, you know, I don't think Teal was even around at the time the whole Savage He-Man Wonder story was. And some of your comments actually, I was going back and forth mentioning that and they were correct. I was thinking it was Battleground Teal from the classics, kind of what it looks like from the image, but it's not. It's Sorella is her name. So yeah, I'm just making that update and thanks for the person comments pointing that out, you know, that's what it's all about. So... Let's get to the new Beast Man and let's get him out of package and check him out. Okay, we got our Beast Man out of the box. The way he's all set up and comes without the other accessories. We'll check them out soon. But look at this Beast Man. Absolutely unbelievable. I mean, this has got to be the best revelation or new attorney or any figures of that line yet. His size, the look, what he comes with. I mean, if you know, if this line's gonna go down this road with these figures, and from what I've seen with the Hordak, the Katra. Zodak coming out, it's it's just, it's really going to compete with the classics. And the class, I love the classics, I, number one to me, but this is really over the top. Just for a little kind of a side-by-side -side comparison with the beast, the classics Beast Man against the new Attorney Beast Man. Look at the size of him. I, I love how they just beefed him up. That's what Beast Man should look like. Now, to be fair, classics was doing something different. I was trying to re-replicate the vintage toys, which were five and a half inch scale. And these are six and a half inch and more or less all the characters with the same height to where the Revelation line looks like it's trying to do something a little different. So I like that they went that route. Just how much bigger his aesthetics and look is compared to how the Classics line was. So bringing our new attorney of Beastman in for closer look. Check out all this cool uh, yeah, animal skins and different type of armor they gave him. Now the headdress or this yeah, animal skin. All it does is pop off like that. It just sits on top of the head. Check that out. But uh... Pretty cool detail, right? See all the teeth in there, and yeah, it's soft. It's got a couple um, spines back here. Eyes are painted on it, and yeah, it just sits there. It got has like a little hook piece that rests on back of his head. Um, pretty cool. It, 
sometimes you move around though it does fall off easy it's the only thing i don't really like about it but yeah different that's for sure and with that headpiece off i'll right, we'll check out the new head sculpt so yeah very reminiscent of beast man we all know and it's cool he has a open mouth now with the teeth showing i like that um yeah it's got the blue painting in the eyes of fur just to hold the white all around it we again very reminiscent of beast man we know from going all the way back to the vintage days articulation you know even with this fur and armor on go back and forth you can look up look down about that far um it's kind of the back now it's pretty interesting all this armor really it's just all fur <laughs> like a piece of rug the way it's all sewn in like that and then this i don't know if it separates we're gonna try to find it out but as far as the upper armor pieces these are all soft pretty cool and you can see how they wrap around it's all like one big belt pretty neat to give you that, that skull pieces in there like that Kind of the back here. All right, it goes all the way down to you yeah, had a belt. I don't know if that looks like all one piece, but let's let's take this off and see what it looks like underneath. So to take it off, it looks like there's one snap here. We're just gonna pop that like so. All right, and maybe the head's gotta pop off too. Yeah, okay. There's a ball peg in the head, and the whole piece looks like it comes off like this and slides, I guess, over the arm. Down the arm, one of the arms. There we go. There's our uh, armor piece off of Beast Man. Now, yeah, pretty cool against one piece. But this, I don't know about the fur piece. No, it doesn't look like, at least on mine, it separates. It's almost like they have it glued to this armor. Now, of course, you didn't like it for some reason. You want to customize and cut it off. You can just cut it off from all the armor and just save this piece. Or if you got another Beast Man, and like, I don't know why. You know, it's unique. I wouldn't do that. But yeah, you kind of see in there how it's all sealed to this plastic piece from what i see anyway here's a quick look with beast man with no armor on i put the head back on um i left some of the gauntlets the shoulder armored on and the forearms and all that. We'll, we'll take that off get him bare bones for the most part but yeah curious that looks like what he looks like now let me bring it in i want to make a point of something now with the armored off mine has before we get into articulation we already did the head right we'll take another look at it but now we can go down up spin all around left to right kind of see it's got a little gap under there but it ain't bad you know just the way the the body meets up where the neck meets up to the back of the head okay um he has that hunch look always did my, very reminiscent of the 2000 x style that's what these revelations the new attorney remind me of um but the arms you yeah, look at the gaps in there on mine anyway it's got some really bad gaps and i thought maybe i could push it in a little bit or it almost looks like it can you can heat these up and pull the pegs out but i'm not sure if you can do that or you're going to snap it but I, that's and both arms are like that i i don't know yeah if it's just mine but without that fur piece yeah that's really bad okay side the gaps that being said um as far as your articulation so you know we can go up down forward back um do have the bicep swivel there okay pinless joints in the elbow elbow can go way up about that far my arm goes down. He can also you see my okay. Um, just spin at the hand, and it's on a hinge joint, so the hand can go forward. I'm only gonna go about that far and out. Um, I don't see nothing. That a bracer. Yeah, this is sloppy too. Now I'm gonna pop these off, but this like forearm guard. This one's pretty good. It has like a blue bracer on this side. It comes with a punching fist. We'll change that out. And going to the left side, uh, identical armored. It fits on, fits on it really well. The articulation is all the same. And this one comes with an open hand. We'll, we'll also change it out on a hinge joint spin. Has a different style bracer on that side, a gull one. And another type of forearm armor that's different from this one. It's a single, it's a double, so it's kind of the difference. And as far as all the armor pieces, right, they're just going to pop here. I'm just going to snap like this. And that's how you take them all off. So I'm going to take, let's, let's remove them all. And these are all the four pieces that go on the arms they look like off off of them curious check them out so now with all the armored off the arms we get a better look at them spray serum again see the articulation on this arm a little better but yeah look at it again it's gaps now when you move the arms up and they look too bad but this way down are really yeah that's something i don't know why they look at that anyway um to finish up the articulation so we have our ab crunch okay you can go forward and back spin at the waist it's got a uh, gold belt on it's all sculpted on i don't see it there's no way to take it off 
also has this loincloth. It's also all part of that. Um, and a blue, and it has this extra piece here. It comes down with its own design. And it doesn't look like it's removable. Nope, it's all part of the sculpt, from what I see anyway. Okay, uh, as far as the legs, go all the way out, go forward, back, not that far. Can bend all the way up. Pinless joints and knees, pretty cool. Um, now, even with the armored on, we, uh, let's see, can does can spin at the ankle like if it was a boot. And with our foot, we go down, up, spin left. It's on a rocker, rock back and forth, spin left to right. And I don't think there's any toe articulation on this guy. And the other foot's all the same. So like a ball, looks like a ball joint, no a hinge in there maybe. And with the leg armored straps, a little bit different. Now you might have to heat these up to get them out, but they're just gonna pop apart like that, and that's how you would get them off. Here's a closer look at the leg armored off the legs. So it's yeah, it's pretty flexible. Okay, he's gonna bend up and down if you needed him to. And um, yeah, just two different colors. I cool like the way the spikes are done. It's kind of your straps. And here's our beast man bare bones as uh, much as i can strip all the stuff off them now again i can't take the belt or the loincloth off or even that designer loin pad in the front but or the bracers they look like you might be able to cut them off if you wanted to uh, again i can't get them off but this is as much as we can break them down so you want to check that out so he looks like so now as far as the rest of his accessories we get two semi-open hands and i'm probably going to change them out instead of the other uh hand two hands he comes with but we get those we also get his whip. Uh, it's the same exact whip that the first Beastman came with in Revelation line, but it's done in metallic silver instead of, I think, a black, which I'll compare it. But, yeah, we get that. Got this cool rope on it. And we finally get his infamous armor that we're all familiar with, whether it was the, yeah, going back to the vintage days or classics or cartoon. But we finally get that, so that's really cool. Check that out. It's got the, night, the blue symbols paint there, the chain. It's all plastic and sculpted. It's just one, uh, looks like just one strap that clips through. And the final accessory is this uh, club with bones sticking out of it or teeth or something. Look at that. That's pretty cool. These are sharp, too. It's heavy. Hey, you hit yourself on the knuckles, you'll break something. <laughs> but uh, that's pretty cool. You get that. That's definitely a beast man weapon. So real quick, if you're not familiar, I'm going to change. I'm going to do both of the hands, but let's just change one out, see how it comes apart with the peg. It's going to be a, okay, so I'll pop right out, and then we'll put the one of the semi-closed grip hands in, just like that. Okay, so I put two of the gripping hands now on. I changed the other one out on the left side. Uh, let's do a quick comparison with our first release, Revelation Beast Man. That was part of that time travel sequence later in the show. Yeah, I mean, this is interesting. Look at, this is complete different tooling. I mean, it's bigger, the chest, just the uh, torso. It looks like the arms are different. Um, the hand, yeah, even the hands I think are bigger, obviously our head and everything in the belt, but yeah, it's completely different, a lot bigger. The legs too, it seems to me. You can even see the, the knee joint in there, the way it's all done. Get the hands out of the way. Uh, yeah, even this, it's all sculpted different than the thigh. Yeah, a lot bigger beast, man, cool. And of course it's a darker color to match, going back to the vintage style, but uh, that's cool he did that. Now... See, his arms don't, I like the way they did this. They don't have those big gaps, and this one does. That kind of bothers me. I don't know if it's just a QC issue with mine, or it's, that's the way it's meant to be. I hope it's just mine. I hope I, maybe I can pull that pin out and heat it and reset it or something. And uh, this this arm's the same way. It's not as bad. This side's really bad. But I think that's, anyway, that's a positive thing. Now, you really get a complete different beast, man. Everything retooled from what I can see. Okay, and there's our back. Yeah, and it's the flat upper shoulders and then you got this fur piece here um let's switch out the heads and see if that will work yeah now this is interesting i mean even though it does i mean you could get this to work it does the color's a little off it would work better on this body but it doesn't even it doesn't seem to you would have to heat this hole up in the in the head the pride on this peg it's the, the peg's not even set up to fit this head it seems like on this new beast man body and the first release Beast Man, same thing with the um, new Beast Man head. It just sits there. It won't even work on the peg. So it's almost like they specifically designed it so you can't mix the heads up if you wanted to. But I just want to kind of show that. Now we'll also go into our first release Beast Man. All right. Um, another question would be what about the armor? If people like this figure, have a couple, which I do. And I'm going to bring one in and show you what I did. I made a video about it. But. This was the problem with this one. So even if you had a classics armored, or now we have the right armored, which looks like this would fit the classics very similar. 
it could work, but see, it's this fur piece, this hump in the back that it just kind of sits there and it, it doesn't look right. You know, so yes, it can work, but uh, it shouldn't work. But I'll pop it on, push the head on. And if you want to snap that in the back, it's going to pop like so. I, it sort of could work. I mean, it's not the worst thing, but I'm curious what that looks like. And to show a quick example, man, look at all beast man. What's going on here? <laughs> but so I have two of the first release, release Revelation Beast Mans, and I made a custom video. Now this was um, know, let me get this guy away. But this was the classics one, uh, the classics, excuse me, the classics armored from the accessories, Final Wars weapon packs. The shoulder armored. I cut the straps off. Now you, you could heat them and slide them on, but once you do that and you overstretch the muscle and you take them off, they don't work right. So I just cut my own, added my own foam bands and whatnot. I thought that was pretty cool. They look different. But in order to put the classics armored on, so you know, going back to this beast man, I actually had to remove, I took this piece off of this one. And it was funny, once you pull this off with a screwdriver, screw it on, it still has a hump there. But this works much better and goes right over it. You kind of see it. You can see it. Oh, I had to cut it too. I'm sorry. And see, I had to actually cut that piece off, the hump. And the fur piece, what I meant to say is the fur piece later on, you can always put it back and it would work if you didn't want to remove the armor. I thought that was interesting they had that, but that's how I set this armor on his figure. And that's what this one looks like with the armor you get now. In case you got two of them, want to set them up. Now, getting back to the whips, they look similar to me, but when I took a closer look and I took this out of the original Beast, you know, the Revelation Beast Man's hand, they are different. I mean, not only color, the strings are the same, but yeah, different style whips. So that's cool. They didn't give you the same thing. That's what I thought. But no, closer look. Completely different handles. That's pretty cool. So, of course, one of our most iconic looks. Everybody wants in our Beast Man. Put the, so I got the two hands change out. Put the whip on this side. Put the two shoulder armor pieces back on the shoulders. And put this uh, armor on them. And now we have our Filmation Classics yeah, Vintage uh, Inspired Beast Man. And we'll give him a quick look around with his vintage setup. Okay, and I thought I'd set our beast man up with all the armor pieces back on the arms and legs. Um, I kept the traditional or the vintage style chest armor on. And I put that animal fur or the headdress on top of the head. So basically we have him set up now. Oh, and the club in hand, we kept the whip in the other. Uh, without this piece on. So if you want to see what that looks like in more the traditional style, but with the armor, club, and whatnot, that's what he looks like. Here's a little closer look at the headdress. So with this um, yeah, vintage style chest armor on, this is how to, this um, headpiece would just sit on. it Again, it just, so it has this little curve piece and it kind of sits on the back of the head and it will rest over the armor like that. It works pretty good. It seems to fall down a lot and it's very loose. So I mean, again, what are you doing with them? You know, you're just standing them up on your shelf. Or, but if you're messing around with them, that's the only way it fits. But it looks cool even with this armor on. So yeah, definitely unique and different now for Beast Man. All right, so I think we pretty much covered everything pretty well with this Beast Man as far as armored on and off with the try mix around. But what I want to try is, so obviously I stripped them all down. Let's try all the armor on this Beast Man, that big fur piece. And we'll also try the traditional chest armor, which we already did. And it does work, but that hump in the back gets in the way. And i show you what my custom Beast Man, how I seem to fix that. But yeah, let's put different some different stuff on him, set him up, see what that looks like. So first thing, I just set up both the legs and the arm pieces of the armors just to see what that looks like without any chest or head pieces. So you want to check that out. Now, I want to show you something. Let's bring them in a closer look. So everything fits well, but it is very loose. You see this? Like, you know, these got these little push-on uh, pieces that snap. So, you know, you can position it to where it kind of holds this, this one too. Very sloppy. But again, once you angle it, it's okay. And same thing with this piece. We're but overall, it works It works good, you know, for, you know, now we have an armor for this Beast Man. Um, the leg pieces, too, they have the extra buckles that can go in, so they also adjust well. But they do have a little bit of a gap because his legs aesthetically are smaller than the new Beast Man. So these knee pieces, they kind of hang out a little bit. I mean, you kind of push them in. It's not terrible, but, you know, so that's kind of what that looks like with all just the armor pieces on this Beast Man. So the next piece I want to add, obviously, is that big fur armor with the belt. Um, yeah, that works perfect. I just had to pop the head off like the yellow one, slide it over the arm, but you can see that, and it looks great. And the hump doesn't really get in the way. A little bit. It's not bad. Now, the belt is, again, because of his aesthetics, a small, little loose here. You can see a gap, but you can still snap it. And, yeah, it looks really cool. So that works well, too. And I left all the armor on, so we'll just kind of build them up. But, yeah, that's cool. I like it. 
And I also tried the headpiece. Now it's not. Actually, it just kind of sits on the fur. It don't look bad. All right, check that out. And it just sits there. Um, and the head, now the head can barely articulate with this, you know, with this figure once you got the fur on. You can go a little bit. You can preposition it. But without it, the articulation, it's all the same. Just beast man up. Go up, down a little bit. Um, yeah, it works well. But if you're curious what that looks like, or a little headdress on now. And for one last thing, I put the... Um, all right, so we got the club and the whip in the hand. We left all the armor on. Obviously, took the big fur piece off, and I put the traditional or vintage style armor on now. Yeah, it does work. Even with that hump, it's not the worst thing. You can kind of overlook it just for beast man, the fur, and this could be higher. And I showed you how to modify it or how I did mine. But it's kind of what that looks like, so not a bad look. It does fit well. Um, and then we'll see if the headpiece works, too, if you wanted to try that. Um... Yeah, it's not perfect. It actually sits on here. Okay, I mean, put it on your shelf. You just want to sit it on there like that. It's not the worst looking thing, and it kind of does work. So overall, I think this Beast Man's awesome. It's cool little accessories we get. It's really neat that you can mix accessories between him and the first release, Revelation Beast Man. Some stuff is loose over other parts, but for the most part, it works well, and you can convert them to the vintage-inspired look. I like the overall size. My only real gripe is those gaps in the shoulder joints. I have a feeling there was a QC issue with my figure, but we'll see when other ones come out. You know, it is what it is. So I hope it answers any questions. I hope everybody's doing great. And until next time, take care.